Hi there, my name is Andrew Morley. I'm the President and CEO of World Vision International. I'm sure each and every one of us has had a defining moment in our lives. Just a few weeks ago, I had one such moment. I met a Maasai girl face to face in East Africa. I'll call her Esther. Esther endured female genital mutilation. She was raped and then forced into marriage all at the tender age of just eight years old. We're supporting Esther now, but instead of realizing her brilliance and God-given potential, Esther's life has been shattered to the core. It's an atrocity that is still repeated the world over each and every day. This has got to stop. So today, on behalf of World Vision, working in 100 countries, I'm proud to tell you that we're making a commitment. This is a huge commitment to the global strategy for maternal, newborn, child and adolescent health and nutrition. From now until 2030, World Vision will implement $7 billion of health and nutrition programming. This includes $2 billion in fragile contexts as we refocus our work on the most vulnerable children, children like Esther. I'm also proud to tell you that a third of this overall funding, almost two and a half billion dollars, will come from private donors. This is particularly important on the 25th anniversary of ICPD. As a result of all this, we will reach more than 15 million children each year with our Survive and Thrive agenda. Additionally, we will transform the lives of nearly five million women. We will also lead a new generation of faith leaders to become community advocates on this very issue. Furthermore, in line with our current global campaign to end violence against children, we continue to increase our efforts to eradicate child marriage, FGM and gender and sexual based violence. This year marks the 30th anniversary of the Child Rights Convention. Yet many millions of children, children like Esther, are still denied those rights. Every child deserves good health. And at World Vision, we will do everything in our power to make that happen. This is my personal promise to you, and it's a promise I will keep.